I've been feeling a little whimsical all week, and it's definitely affected my choice of mods. Welcome to episode 35 of the Fallout 4 Mod Vault. Some people find the Robo Brains a little creepy. They are, after all, a human brain sat in a snow globe with a giant eye squished onto the front. And so one mod maker has decided to do something about it. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the teddy brain. That's right, the brain has been replaced by a teddy bear. I'm not sure why that's less disturbing, to be honest, as I find this teddy bear to be a little sinister. However, if you are bothered by squishy brains, you can now get rid of them. Now, it doesn't replace the in-game Robo Brains. They stay the same. This is just for your automatrons, and it is an optional head. You get the Robo Brain and the Teddy Brain. The mod also comes with some interesting new weapons for your automatrons, including things like the Broadsider, there is a Fat Man, and there is even the dreaded Teddy Punch. It can also give you weapons that look like they've been held in the hands, but there are some issues with those weapons as it does look like the bullets are still coming out of the hand area rather than the weapon area. So, if you're into creating automatrons and you want some new interesting weapons, or you just want to get rid of those squishy brains, the Teddy Brains mod might be for you. Am I the only one who finds this a lot more terrifying. This is the T-51C Air Force Powered Armor, and those of you who used a similar mod in Fallout New Vegas will see the similarities almost immediately. The model is really well done, it suits the game whilst being different enough to be interesting, the textures are great, and you can have it in any colour that you want, as long as that colour is green. Yes, you, <laughs> you can't change the colour of it. It allows you to change the paint, the materials, and you get the effects, but not the look. You always see this green look. And that's fine, because this armour does suit green, and of course I think green is cool. In all other ways, it behaves like standard power armor. You can upgrade the model, you can change the material, add miscellaneous mods, such as the jetpack. You can mix and max with other power armor pieces, although, as I've already mentioned, if you want them to match in the color area, you're going to have to change those to green. Yet another great power armor mod, and definitely worthy of being in any connoisseur's power armor collection. One of the questions that I get asked fairly frequently is, what mod is it that makes these items glow green? And the answer is, it's not a mod. It's actually one of the ranks of the Scrapper perk. I believe it's the second perk, the second rank. And what it does is it highlights any items that contain junk that you have tagged. If you go along to the junk section, you can see I have got a magnifying glass near the cake pan. That is because, if I go to component view, I have aluminium tagged. Anything that possesses aluminium will glow green when I look at it. This is also true for containers that contain such items. Now, you can imagine this is very useful if you are a hoarder, if you are a settlement builder who needs lots of junk. This is one of the essential perks for making sure you don't miss aluminium, copper, ceramic, whichever resource it is that you need. But there is a downside. You can never turn it off, and it can be a little distracting. If you're trying to find something that is not junk related, it can become, well, a little more difficult because all these green glowing items tend to get your attention. But with a mod called Scrapper Only Highlights with Weapon Drawn, that problem is removed. As you can see, nothing is glowing until I draw my weapon. This is actually going to be extremely useful because when it comes down to it, when I'm in cities I generally don't have, 
my weapon drawn, and those are the moments I don't want to be constantly reminded that there are things here I could use were I willing to steal them. It seems to work just fine with power armor and has no problem with immersive hood. Honestly, this is one of those mods that just makes that very useful perk a little less invasive. Really simple idea and does exactly what it says. One of the things I really enjoy doing in Fallout 4 is tinkering around making modifications to various items, especially power armor. It's actually a lot of fun to see what you can create, how you can make it look, and what useful little gadgets you can add. But I've always been disappointed by the fact that really, for the arms on power armor, all you can do is create mods that help you punch things, basically. Even the standard armor, say this metal light armor, seems to have more options. You can add lighter build, pocketed, strengthened, stabilized, and many more. For power armor, unless you're running a melee or unarmed build, the miscellaneous slot on the arms is next to useless. Luckily, there is a mod that will allow you to add stabilizer gauntlets to the arms of your power armor. You'll find it in the same place as things like optimized braces. There it is, stabilization gauntlets. This will reduce the sway when you are aiming down the sights a little bit. It's not a massive difference. It is noticeable, but it's not overpowered. It requires two ranks in science, and honestly, it seems a completely reasonable thing. I mean, if I can add stabilizers to standard armor pieces, why not power armor? In fact, I would argue it makes more sense on power armor. Do you worry that your settlement is not quite complete? Do you look across your amazing creation and think something is missing? Well, worry no more, because I have just the thing for you. Aliens. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, you can have your very own aliens guarding your settlement. Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, I don't want little green men running around making my settlements look scruffy and subjecting my settlers to non-consensual probing. Well, have no fear, for these aliens are not real aliens. They're animatronic turrets. That's right, you build them in your settlement menu, you place them near to a power source, they do have to be powered, and they will stare out blankly into the distance. And yet, if an enemy approaches, they will blast it to high hell with their little blue alien space guns. They're actually quite powerful, they give a defense of 20, and they will damage your enemies quite a lot. They also have the advantage of being completely silent, especially when compared to your normal turrets. Although I can't help but wonder how much cooler they would be if they did a little bit of that weird alien speak from Mothership Zeta. And that is all we have time for this week. It's been a little less serious this week than in other weeks, I do understand, if you were hoping for those super serious mods. But sometimes, sometimes, the silliness just jumps out and grabs me and won't let go. I'm ending this video with the screenshots that you guys have been posting. A big thank you to everybody who has done so, so far. If you would like to post an image for me to use in my videos, I will leave a link down below that will take you to a video that will show you exactly how you can do that. And let me thank you in advance for doing so. I'll be back next week with lots of great mods to share with you. And I would love it if you could join me for that. I look forward to seeing you there. And until then, remember as always, have fun. If you're curious as to whether I've covered a mod in one of my videos, feel free to go along to my website, gophersvids.com, and check the search functionality out. Just type the name of the mod you're interested in, open up the settings, and filter by mods only. Click for search, and you will see whether or not I've covered that mod. Click on the mod, and it will also show you any of the videos this mod appears in.